Welcome back. We're going to talk today a little bit about our friend Colonel West, first term Republican congressperson from the great state of Florida. And uh, Colonel West has been attacked by one of the left wing uh, attack dogs. And he has been attacked for some statements he made while speaking to the Republican faithful at a dinner, at a fundraiser. And I want to make a clear distinction between what Colonel West said and what people like Bob Beckel claimed that he said. Colonel West has a First Amendment right. And unlike many people who claim First Amendment rights, Colonel West fought, put his life on the line for two decades to earn his First Amendment right, not only for himself, but to provide the blanket of freedom under which all Americans rest safely. Colonel West said that he wished that the leftists, especially the extreme leftists, the liberals, the socialists, the communists, the progressives, would take their policies and they could go to Europe, they could go to the bottom of the sea, they could go to hell if they wished. But he didn't say it about the people, he said their policies. And I saw the speech, I saw him make the speech, and he made it very, very clear that he's talking about their policies. Now, what the left likes to do is say the most incendiary things and then run and hide behind the First Amendment. And when anyone else says anything that they don't like, they immediately attack them as saying, oh, that's provocative, oh, that's going to cause violence, oh, that's, that's the kind of language that causes the Tucson incident to occur. Now, of course, the reason that Mr. Loeffner murdered people in Tucson, Arizona is because Mr. Loeffner is nuts. It has nothing to do with politics, left, right, center, up, down, back. He's a crazy person. It took about eight seconds to figure that out. The left, never wishing to miss out on a great tragedy, wanted to blame what Mr. Loeffner did on politics. It had nothing to do with politics. Congressman West, having fought against oppressive regimes in Iraq and Afghanistan, understands the evil of oppression. He understands exactly how evil collectivist, socialist, fascist, communist governments are and how they gain their power at the direct expense of individual freedom. Having seen it firsthand and having fought to overthrow it, he wishes to send a very clear message to the socialists who in the United States won't admit that they're communists and socialists. They instead claim to be progressives. And of course, the inherent question there is progressing toward what? Progressing toward less individual freedom and more governmental control is always the answer. Colonel West articulated exactly what people like I feel every day. I wish the leftists, the progressives, the communists, the fascists, the socialists in the United States would take their policies, go to Europe, go to the bottom of the sea, go to hell. Those policies fail. And not only do they fail everywhere they're tried, they harm people horribly. And if you have any doubt about that, read all of the dissidents who have, writ who have written, you know, just crushingly depressing accounts of what it was like to live in the former Soviet Union. Read the dissidents who escaped Cuba and what they had to say about life in Cuba when they escaped. Uh, a couple of days ago, I saw this young movie star, I can't remember her name. You know, there's, you know, you get to a certain age and they're just young movie stars. They're young, they're pretty, they're, you know, talented, whatever. But uh, she was speaking about Hugo Chavez and she, she is an expatriate of Chavez's regime. And she talked about how certain individuals who have come out, who are movie stars and supported Mr. Chavez, they wouldn't last five minutes actually living under his oppressive rule. And I was really impressed by this young lady because she came forward and she said, basically, I had to flee that country to practice my craft and my art. Well, Colonel West is telling you, having gone to those foreign rat holes, and being charged with taking his men and leading them on missions to kill the dictators, to kill the fascists, to kill the communists, to kill the socialists, to kill the collectivists, he's telling you that policy doesn't work. And going down that road is a mistake. And the people who wish to impose 
constantly increasing amounts of governmental power at the direct expense of individual freedom, they're not just wrong, they're not just misguided, they are evil. And it is critically important to understand when you face evil, you should tell evil. Policies that are evil should be told to go to hell. Individual people, no, we're not, you know, we're not interested in that. We believe, as conservatives, we believe in individual salvation. We believe in individual, ret individual retribution and individual salvation. We believe the individual is fully capable of overcoming anything that's put in front of them if they're allowed to function in a system that prizes freedom above all else. Our system, thank God for this, our system prizes freedom above all else. And how do we know that? Because when we read the Declaration of Independence, what does it say? We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all people are created equal, and they are endowed by their Creator with certain inalienable, non-transferable rights. Among those are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. God bless Colonel West, member of the House of Representatives. Get out your checkbooks, send cash to him, help him out, help him defend himself against the slander of people like Bob Beckel. Not only is Beckel wrong on a policy level, he is personally slandering a great American hero. And Colonel West, I want you to know we here all are cheering for you and we're hoping the best and we're praying for your re-election. God bless Colonel West, God bless you, God bless the United States of America.